What is up, you horn nerds? It is me, your host once again, Jeremiah Duncan. Welcome back to the channel. Today's review that I'm throwing at you um, is a classic. Again, I don't, I try not to do the big, big names because everybody's heard of them, but I feel like the point of this channel and the point of why I do this is because I want to inform and I'm sure some people out there may be like, oh my God, I've never heard of that movie. Let me check it out. And it's like one that every horror fan's like, bro, I've seen it like 200 times. I could quote it and I know little nerdy details about each little thing. But I'm here to educate. I'm here to bring you what you need to watch. If you, especially if you're just starting to get into horror movies and stuff, the staples, the things you need in the collection. And I'm, this is one of them. The 1974 the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yes, got the, uh, look at this one. Got the metal, the tin. Beautiful, beautiful. Anyway, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, 1974, rated R, runs at an hour and 23 minutes. 8.5 out of 10. Absolutely love this film. I mean, it's a staple. It's iconic. Like, everybody has heard of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and... If you haven't seen it, you haven't seen the original, you've only seen maybe some of these remakes and some of these new ones, you have to go back and watch this. Uh, it's just a fantastic film. It's gritty. It's just intense the whole entire time. It's still intense. Like, I just watched this just the other day. I threw it on, and I'm like, God, it's still so good. Direct, directed and co-written by Toby uh, Hooper. Rest in power, my friend. He did Poltergeist, he also did Fun House. He's done tons of movies that are great, of course. Um, you know, it just, this is one of the ones that just defines the genre of horror. Anybody that's into horror probably has some sort of Texas Chainsaw memorabilia, tattoos, a mask sitting somewhere. You know, any collector's gonna have something from that movie, especially that series. But you gotta go with the original. This, and what's funny about that is this is actually probably the least bloodiest horror movie of all time. When they were shooting this, they were trying to go for a PG rating because they wanted to try to make some bank, right? But it was just so intense that they just kept kicking it back saying rated X, rated R. They just did not um, want to give him this PG rating because of how intense it was. And I think only one person actually dies from a chainsaw in this movie, which is just you know, you're hanging your hat on the chainsaw. I mean, it's literally the biggest word on the cover, you know? But one, I think only one person dies. I mean, the, it was so intense that with them, you know, being cannibals and all this stuff that I heard a story about how Guillermo, uh, Guillermo del Toro actually became vegetarian after watching this because he was like, I don't want to eat people, which is a very um, good thing. Nobody wants to eat people. I personally am vegetarian, and it's not because of this movie, but yeah, I don't want to eat people either. There you go. Again, loosely based on Ed Gein, the serial killer, you know, who put the mask, like, wore people's skins and had skin stuff hanging up in his house. And of course, the connection to the serial killers is pretty rad. Of course, it's close to my heart. I love true crime and things like that. But listen... Get the movie, watch the movie. If you haven't seen it in a while, throw it back in. Get excited again. I mean, we're currently in primetime spooky season. You need this. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, 1974. The original, rated R, 8.5 out of 10. Beautiful. If you've seen it, comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let me know what your favorite Texas Chainsaw Massacre is. I still have to go with this one, although number two is pretty fun. And we could talk about that some other time. But I'd love to hear your thoughts. Like, subscribe, hit the death bell for notifications. I got more coming to you. Stick around.